if thou will not hearken to the voice of the law of thy power. So because you refuse, what you just said, you said you listen to evil. You said you listen to everybody else but the voice of the Lord in the last days, right? Yes, so that's what we've been trained to do. We've been trained to listen yeah. to our grandmothers. Yeah. We've been trained to listen to our mothers, right? Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that if it's truth, right? But you know what else they did? They put this system on us. They put their schools on us. They put their edu their edu their education <laughs> on us, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to start out by giving all glory and honor to our Creator, our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. And I want to give all glory and honor to the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. We are the children of Israel, and we come out here in the last days to profess the truth to our people, right? To confess to you who you are in the last days and what you must do to turn back to your creator, okay? We have been raped, robbed, and spoiled, and everything that was taught to you is full of lies in this society, in this nation, in this captivity that you was made to serve, right. all right? So I want to start out and open up with the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Get the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, because... My brother is up and he's asking a lot of, you know, impactful questions. And the brother said he got kicked out of the church, right, for asking these questions. But we're not going to kick you away from here, right? We're going to answer your questions to the best of our known ability. Thus saith the Lord, okay? All right, brother. Read what you got. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So, so now, right, when you analyze that, brother, that's right. Let the spirit fall upon you, brother. You can speak as loud as you want to, brother, and let that spirit flow. So read it again for the brother, because that hit home for him. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Who is God's people? Who is he talking about when he say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? Who is God's people, brother? What's been stolen from you? Huh? My identity. Your identity. That's right, yeah, brother. Bring it out. You're exactly right, brother. Your identity. Everything that, that God gave you was taken away from you. Right? We come out here today to tell you that you come from the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, brother? And that you went into captivity for breaking God's law, statutes, and commandments. And we're going to run through a couple of things, brother, to show you how this fits you, right, in today's time, right? So let me get the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1, right? Let me get the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. You know, we're going to run through it all for the brother real quick, man. All right, we got plenty of time to come out here today and spread this truth and to spread this knowledge for our people, man. To all those of like mind and spirit in the last days, a shalom, Elder Mac, Yahabah, Shem Yahah, Shabu All right? Read what you got in Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Let's establish who we're talking about here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto Israel. So these be the words that Moses spake unto Israel. Okay, so everything that we're going to read going forward is only going to pertain to Israel. We come out here to speak to Israelites in the last days, okay? So we're gonna give you your judgment. We're gonna give you your redemption as well. Your salvation is written right here in these records right here, okay? So the curse and the blessing that was put on the nation of Israel, right? Why are you destroyed as a people, brother? Why are you in the condition that you're in right now, right? You gotta ask, who did it to you, brother? Who did it to you? Who put you in this state? Why don't you know who you are? You know what I want. Go ahead, answer the question, brother. I listen to the voice of evil 
when I should have been listening to the voice of God. That's Ooh, right. we. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. You know what? Let me let me get uh, Zachariah 7 over there. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass, right? Meaning these things is going to happen. Anytime you say where the Lord said it shall come to pass, meaning, listen, as I'm saying it, as I'm speaking it, so shall it be. Amen. Go ahead. If thou were not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy power. So because you refuse, what you just said, you said you listened to evil. You said you listened to everybody else but the voice of the Lord in the last days, right? So that's what we've been trained to do. We've been trained to listen yeah. to our grandmothers. Yeah. We've been trained to listen to our mothers, right? Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with that if it's truth, right? But you know what else they did? They put this system on us. They put their schools on us. They put their, edu their, edu their education on us, right? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Mm -hmm. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments, brother. We was charged to do all of God's commandments, brother, okay? Now, what are these commandments? What are some of these commandments? Do you know? Thou shalt not kill. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not destroy. Thou shalt not bear false witnesses. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, thou shalt not cover thy neighbor. Uh-huh. If he got something, uh -huh. you don't want his, he got your own. That's right. Yeah, he's going to get yours. Uh -huh. And even if he does, let him have it. That's right. That's right. What about the Sabbath day? Remember to keep it holy. Ooh, brothers on point. I almost forgot that. One. There you go. Now, nah, but that's hey. But see, you know what? You know what's funny? Many of our people forget that one. But you know what you just said? You said remember to keep it holy. So that was the spirit of the Lord telling you right there to remember. This is the Sabbath. This is the Sabbath day that our people forgot about. We forgot to shut down from all of the rarely deeds that we was doing long before we came into the knowledge of Christ. Right? So we come out here and we party on the Lord's Day. We go to work on the Lord's Day. We buy and sell on the Lord's Day. Right? We commit all types of whoredom on the Lord's Day. Right? But when are we going to start to serve the Lord on his day? Right? When are we going to start to learn what it is to be prosperous as a people in this society? Read what you got real quick. Come on. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 7, verse 8. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. And that's what we come out here to do right now, brother. We come out here to execute judgment and to show what? Mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Mercy and compassion every man to his brother. You're my brother. You see that? But what do we do as brothers, right? We kill each other, right? We covet on each other's wives, right? We covet on each other's homes, right? We don't like when our brother get a raise at the job, right? We don't like when he get that promotion, but you know what that do? That puts envy in our people, right? That put jealousy in our people, right? Right? That make the brother that got the promotion hate his own people. So now he ruling over you with an iron rod that he was never supposed to. You see that? But we were supposed to execute mercy unto our own people, huh. right? Not harsh judgment and penalties that wasn't never meant for us to treat each other that way. We have root when we rule over each other as a nation. You understand that, brother? Okay. You got a question? Go ahead. Uh-huh. I was on the opposite corner, mm -hmm. and I decided to walk around here, mm -hmm. and I, I'll be honest, I don't believe in accidents. I believe in incidence. And when you have incidents, you have coincidence. Right. And it coincidentally happened mm -hmm. that I had to stumble on these guys that were predestined. Oh, Come on. Look at that. That's deep, eh? That's so, he was on Shalom, on, bro. Look at that right there. So, let me get that Joshua 1 and 8 first, real quick for the brother. Joshua, Joshua 1 and 8. It's right down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, no, all praise. All praise. Go ahead. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Go ahead. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein. Hey, look, you see what it says? It says, this book of what? Bro, this book of what? This book of the law. This book of the law, right? Hold what you got. You got that Baruch form one? Come on, come on. It's all good. I got you. Yeah. Right? 
Because you got to understand, brother, all of these records right here are the, are the books of the law. These, these, everything you read goes back to the law, goes back to Torah. Go ahead. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments. God, right? Go ahead. And the law that endureth forever. Now, the law was just in the Old Testament, brother. What? Oh, they Can that... Read it over? The law that endureth Sorry. for what? The law that endureth forever. The law that endureth forever. Right? So, before Christ and after Christ, right? You see that? We are still under God's laws, right? Christ instituted the law in the earth. He gave the laws to Moses. That's why he came down here and showed us how to walk to perfection, right? According to his heavenly father. He had to come and be perfect for us to show us how to do it right. Because we have wicked spirits on us, right? From the other nations and all of these other people that hate us, right? So Christ had to show his own people how to walk according to his heavenly father, right? So we'll go back over here to Joshua. Mm -hmm. it's the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Uh huh? This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. but thou shalt meditate therein. You shall meditate therein. How many people do you know, right, brother, that meditate day and night on God's word and his law, statutes, and commandments? How many people you know? I'll tell you what, if you love God, he loves Yeah, <laughs> hey, look, the brother, hey, you know what? A lot of our people, though, right? That's that's our that's that's all we have is to be oh, locked yeah. down, right? Yeah. And when you go down there, you get locked down. You got no choice but to become either a part of Islam or you gonna pick this Bible up and become a, a pastor or something, man. Many of our people, man, become pastors in the in in the, uh, in, the in the prison system, right? And come out here and live a better life than they ever lived. You see that? You be on drugs out here in the streets of America, tripping, flipping on everybody, beating your wife up. Getting locked up for all manner of nonsense, right? But then the Lord will shut you down for a minute, right. right? He'll take everything away from you and put you down in that system so that you can serve him in, in, in all truth and sincerity of heart. Same thing like he did with Malcolm X, right? Malcolm X was out ripping and running the streets, right? Yeah. But then the Lord humbled them down. Even though he was in Islam, right, he still humbled them down, right? Malcolm X read more out of the Bible than he did the Quran. A lot of people don't know that, mm -hmm. right? Go ahead, read. He says... Therein, day and night, that thou mayst observe to do according to all is written therein. So we were supposed to observe to do all that was written therein, brother. Okay? Every single thing that you read, all of the do's, all of the don'ts, that's the spirit we were supposed to put on ourselves. You understand? So that we can obtain mercy, salvation, right? We're supposed to walk like Christ, the Hamashiach Yahawashai, right? His name is not Jesus, right? That's what the devil gave us. You understand that? The devil gave us that name to confuse us. You understand? And he gave us these white images also. You see that? What does your Jesus look like, brother? It don't look like that. It don't look like that. Oh, praises. That's right. That's right, man. All right. Let me get. I right, keep going on that. It says that thou may observe to do according to all that is written uh -huh. therein. For then thou shalt make thy way proper prosperous so if if now right you're going to begin to make your way prosperous why is it that our people are not prospering in this nation people in this nation don't prosper our people our people don't prosper primarily because of lack of knowledge lack of knowledge we're going over it right now right so the scripture said to meditate on god's law day and night so that now you observe to do all of these things that's written therein for you and your people. So now you begin to change everything that's wrong with you and your people, and that's how you prosper over these nations, right? That's how you begin to take back your rulership that was given to you. You see that? You walking around here low, of low self-esteem right now. But you know what? You were supposed to be a god in front of these nations. Right? That's what the Messiah put in you and for your lot. That's your spirit. You a God in this earth, brother. Why are you not acting like it? Are you ready? Are you prepared to take back your heritage? Huh? This is for you, brother. Let me get set. let me get that in Kings real quick. Go ahead. Uh, first Kings two and three. Uh -huh. This is a book of First Kings, chapter two, verse three. 
and keep the and keep the charge of the Lord thy God. He said to keep the charge of the Lord thy God. What does that mean to keep the charge of the Lord your God, brother? Listen and obey. Because hey. obedience is better than sacrifice. Woo! Hey, hey, get this brother a hand, man. You see that? This brother got the spirit on him, man. Right? But you know what? That's why the church kicked you out. Right? Because you had the knowledge of the Lord within your vessel, but the pastor wanted to indoctrinate you with lies. You see that? He don't want you to come out there and speak that truth. He don't want you to obey the laws of God. He wants you to obey his laws. He wants you to fill his pockets up with filthy lucre. Right? But he don't want you to follow this. That way you could prosper over all these nations. Right? What they do, they gave us a prosperity doctrine. Right? Where the preachers and the pastors get to ride around in the Lamborghinis, get to ride around in their private jets, right? But while you sitting there filling up the church in the bucket, you go home to a poor establishment. You see that? You go home to a Honda Elantra while your pastor get in the damn Bentley. What sense did that make? But that's what our people would rather support. Yeah. Our people would rather support the lying pastor, right, than the brothers that are standing up for righteousness in the last days. You understand that? The Lord said, who will stand up for me against the evil workers of iniquity? Is the pastor standing up against the evil workers of iniquity? Huh? Right. Right. He, opens the door for he opens the door for the workers of iniquity, right? That's what he does, brother. Keep going. Mm -hmm. He says, to walk in his ways, uh -huh. to keep his statutes and his commandments uh -huh. and his judgments and his testimonies uh -huh. as it is written. In the law of Moses. As it is written in the law of Moses. Everything we were supposed to do, right, to be perfect. Everything we were supposed to do to rule over this guy right here behind you with his phone, right? Everything we were supposed to do as a people, right, was to follow the laws of Moses so that we can rule over these nations, right? So that we can be gods in the earth. You understand that? Right? We? And his judgments. And his testimony. You said you do what? You just walking? Hey, that's fine. Hey, look, our people was just walking. Emmett Till was just walking. You understand that? But your people persecuted him for just walking. Your people persecuted him for just looking. Your people persecuted him for yes. just smiling. You understand that? So that's why we come out here with boldness in the last days, man. You might not like, is this your God right here? Is this your Jesus right here? Answer the question. No, listen. Is this your God? Come over here. No, come here. Come here. Come on this side. Come on this side. Stay. Hey, brother, don't go nowhere, brother. All right, stay. Come over here, brother. Stand right here. You don't follow Jesus. You don't even know who he is, man. Huh? You high right now? Huh? Yeah, you look fried, man. Just go ahead. I don't. I ain't going to deal with you like that. I'd rather deal with somebody that got their whole mind about him, man. You just got finished running? Yeah, well, you look fried right now, man. You look finished. You got finished running and you finished already, man. You better keep running because my brother right here, he's ready for you. Right? He going to have you running sun up to sun down, man. Okay? He's waiting on that day, man. So you better go ahead and get ready to keep running. All right? All right. No, no, listen. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you, I have to get ready to serve our people. That's your lot. That's all God has for you for what your nation did to his chosen people. Do you understand that? Do you believe in this Bible? All right. Jesus is in the Bible. Do you believe in it? Huh? You do? Okay, so do you look at, come over and look at these signs right here. You see what happened to our people? Well, they keep running in. All right? You got, you got that in uh, what you was holding? Psalms. Psalms? Yeah, go ahead. Bring your precept out. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 82. And so you know, brother, right? That's the spirit that the Lord has to put in his people in the last days, right? Because you know what? There was a time where I couldn't speak to that devil like that. You understand? There was a time I couldn't even say hello to that devil. You understand? You're an elder man. You know how that is, right? Just like Elder Mac right here, he understand how it is. 
right? He was persecuted in the military for just trying to service what he thought was his nation. You understand? He had to fight the devils for just trying to do his service. You see that? So that's why we got to come out here in the last days, man, and tell these devils where they're going. Tell these devils that they have to pay back for what they've stolen, right? They're not even meant to be on this plane, man. This sun is going to burn their ass up one day and they're going to be finished, man. Right? It's already happening. It is already happening. Right? All over the European countries, all over China, the sun is burning these people up. They got to go in caves, man. They got to go in caves, man. There ain't no hope for them. Right? Ain't no hope for them. That's why the Lord said in the last days, man, he's going to open up the cliffs of the rocks, man, and pull all these damn devils out, man, and destroy them, man. Yep. All right, that's say the Lord, man. That's oh, save your heart while your heart is shy, man. All right, that's the boldness we come out here with in the last days, brother. And that's what you got to put on you. Let me get wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and 1. Go ahead and read your precept. That's the book of Psalm, chapter 82, verse 6. Go ahead. I have said, ye are gods. I have said what? Ye are gods. And the Lord say, you are God, man. Now you got to stand up like a god and take back this earth. We and all of you are children of the Most High. All of you are the children of the Most High, man, but you rather serve Satan. You rather serve the damn white man. You rather serve your job, man. You rather serve oppression instead of freedom and righteousness. It's salvation. We? But you shall die like man. You're gonna die like a man, a mere mortal man, right? A simple creature that know nothing in the last days, man. That's all our people got coming to them. Why? Because all they want to do is rape, rob, and steal from their own people. Oh. Nothing but hatred is what we have for each other. Right. right? But the Lord is going to release his, his hunters. It's coming soon. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh. The dog horses are coming soon, man. And we're going to oh. go through all these cities, right? Because we crying out here to the nations right now, right? right. But we're going to go through all these cities, man. And we're going to destroy everybody that hate the Lord. That's Right. right? Everybody that want to work iniquity, man. Even our own people, we're going to start there. You understand that? Read. But ye shall you. die like men and fall like one of the princes. I right, hold that. Read, read what you got. This is a book of wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha. Chapter 5. It's a lot. Of it. Yes. Chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man Stand in great boldness. It says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And you see that, brother? How do we become righteous, right? You're looking at a lot of brothers up here, man, who lived the evil lifestyle at one time, man. Okay? Right? And I can solely speak on myself. You understand? That's how we come to perfection. We go in the Bible, we look at everything wrong with us, right? And we got to fix them, thus saves the Lord. You understand that? Hey, but the Lord knew what he was doing. He put us through all of these trials and tribulations to turn us into warriors in the last days, man. You understand? Ain't nobody else going to walk through the fire out of here, man, but his children. You understand that? Read. Mm -hmm. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And that's what you see right now, Elder. We're standing in great boldness for the Lord in the last days, man. And you got to begin to do the same thing, brother. You got to begin to gird yourself up like a man in the last days, brother. Right? Put on the spirit of Christ. Right? Keep the commandments of God. Right? Keep the laws in your heart, brother. That's your job and your mission in the last days is to repent, brother. Okay? Read. Before the face of such have afflicted him. That damn devil right there have afflicted our people, man, for over 500 years in this land. You understand that? Huh? Read. Mm -hmm. He said, and made no account of his laborers. Have they made any account of our labors, elder? Have they paid you what is desired of you? Huh? How long you work for this system? Huh? Why are you in the streets right now, elder? Huh? Why is your shirt inside out? Who did it to you? The damn devil. That's what we're going into, man. Right. The damn devil. The so-called European. Right? Right? The damn bastard of the earth, man. That's who did it to you. Right? right? Hey, Shalom, brother. How you doing, man? You believe in the Bible, brother? Hey, y'all got time to hear the word of the Lord and the truth in the last days, brother? Hey, see, many of our people believe and profess they know God with their mouth, right? But their hearts is far from the Lord, man. They don't want to stand up and do the will of the Lord in the last days, man. 
right? That's all our people want to do is smoke cigarettes, go to the clubs, right? Party, pour out our women, you understand? And not live a, a prosperous lifestyle, which is keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, man. That's all we know how to do is be evil and wicked in the earth, man, right? But nobody want to stand up for righteousness in the last days, man. We, mm -hmm. when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible hey, fear. Hey, sister, you believe in the Bible? I'm asking a question, sister. You believe in the Bible? You just got time to look and keep walking. Okay. All right. All right, sister. All praises. All right. You're an Israelite, sister. You must repent in the last days, right? And know that your salvation is at hand, okay? The kingdom of God is coming, rather if you like it or not. This place is finished, man. All right? Anytime you see men speaking on the corners like this, man, you know this place is up. Yeah. All right? This place is done, man. We. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And they troubled with terrible fear. Every time we come out here and open these records up, man, right? That's why they got us marked as terrorists. We ain't harm nobody. You understand that? We ain't never went on no street corners in America and put nobody to death. Okay? We ain't hung nobody up on no trees. We ain't burned down nobody's homes. You understand that? We ain't raping nobody's little children. You understand that? We are living a righteous lifestyle. Why are we marked as terrorists? Huh? Because this nation said they believe in this book. Why are we terrorists for speaking the truth in it? That's right. Oh, Bring huh? that out. Somebody yeah. got to talk and tell me what's going on this day. Huh? Because we come out here for truth in the last days. Rather if our people like it or love it or not, man. You might not love this spirit that you see. All right? You might not understand this fair defendants and that you see right here is fierceness. You may not understand it, but trust and believe, man. You will on that day when you got brothers like myself putting all these nations to death, right? Every brother out here that you see can't wait on that day to put these nations in captivity for what they did to us, man. That's right. right? That is our lot, man. That is our position of power in the earth, right? That's all we want to do is hang with our damn oppressors, man. Ride up and down the streets on scooters, man. Right? All of this is coming to an end, man. The Lord gonna melt the tires on these damn bikes, these scooters, these cars, and all of this stuff y'all wanna do is ride by the men of the Lord the last days, man. All of it is coming to an end, right? Finish reading what you got. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Uh -huh. So far beyond all they that look for him. That's right, man. Look for. That's far beyond all what they look for. You know why? Because what they see for us, Nothing. nothing. They said we was nothing. nothing. They said you was three fifths of a, of a human being, Elder. Why is that in the Constitution, Elder? Huh? When you created the devil, you created that white man. You understand that? He come from your blood. He come from your melanated background, brother. So how the hell are you going to tell you who you are? When your Bible tell you who you are, your Bible tells you you was a God. Your Bible told you that you was above all people on the face of the earth. When are you going to come back and do it? Read what you got. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 1. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, Cause them that have charged over the city to draw near. Hey, and that's what we're doing right now, man. We are causing all of these people, right? And we got charge over the city, man. And we want you to draw near to the word of the Lord in the last days, man. Right? How many people gonna come over here and hear the voice of the Lord in the last days? How many people gonna come and hear the truth, man? Right? How many people really want the true salvation from the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son in the last days? Uh. Right? Huh? None but the righteous. None but the righteous. How are we righteous, Elder? What makes us righteous? Following and doing the will of God. Hey, man, give the Elder another hand. Hey, the Elder's on point, man. Why don't they want him to speak in the church? That's why. That's the why. Truth, the truth. Preachers tell the truth, but then preach, it hurts. That's right. There you go. Mm -hmm. It hurts, man. The truth hurts, man. But you know what? Our Bible tell us the truth is going to set us what? Free. It's going to set us free. That's right, brother. That's right. All praise to the most high, man. The brother got the spirit on him. That's right. We Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near even every man with his destroying weapon uh -huh. in his hand. Go ahead. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate which lieth toward the north. And every man a slaughter weapon 
in his hand. Uh -huh. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's ink horn uh -huh. by his side, and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Uh -huh. And the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherubim, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. Uh -huh. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's ink horn in by his side. So to understand, Elder, this is what's coming to pass right now, right? You're going to see right now in, the, in these cities, let me get Jeremiah 16 and 16 real quick, right? You're going to see what we're, what we're doing right now. We're professing the true knowledge of God on these streets, right? And he's lining us up to be hunters, right? Soon enough, right, we out here, we're sighing and crying. Give me that part where it says that the men that sigh and cry, right? We're sighing and crying in the streets, right? Every day for our people, we're lifting our voices up like a trumpet for everybody to hear. That's why we got these loud speakers out here, Elder, right? But don't nobody want to hear. They want to keep partying, right? Right? We're crying for the iniquity of our people.